Hi everyone, it is Pam with Eye Candy Scraps, and I am back with you back today with another Thirsty Thursday video where this is the card that we will be making today. It is out of the pear and partridge workshop on the go. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now to make card three, which is this one in your instruction guide. These are all the tools you are going to need. You are going to need, of course, your card, your stamp set, and for this one, I haven't made the card yet. I'm just showing what you need. It looks like we are actually going to use all three of the blocks. So you're going to need your one by three and a half, your one by one, and your three by three. And you are going to need two of these glitters, the glitter gems, the red glitter gems. And the instructions call for six inches of your ribbon. And you're going to, of course, need the B&T paper and the cranberry and the cocoa. And the ink pads are olive, cocoa, and cranberry. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut and then we will make our card. Forgot to add that you are going to need your colonial white paper. I made all the what you're going to need videos for the cards and I didn't use the colonial white paper but Yes, you will need your the colonial white cardstock that came with the kit to make all of these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and start making our card for the day. Real quick, I want to go over how our cutting diagrams work for anybody who may need to know, because you know, we've all been there before. Whether you know we are the one we are a person who always needs a little bit of extra help or suffering from insomnia like you know me so real quick I'm just gonna go over really really fast so so we have more time for the crafting this is the card we're making so we use that to look at so we go over here and it's all it's going to it says it's you know you can't see it by the on camera but if when you have it in front of you it's pretty really self-explanatory you know, card three, you know, it's always going to be 3A, 3B, 3C, and 3D. So we go and we look and we find 3A. We know 3A is going to be the, the green side of the paper. So we look for the picture that's at the bottom of the diagrams and we look for the size that we need. And then we go so on to B and then C and then D and it's really easy peasy and you always want to majority of the time you always want to start with the smallest size to save paper based on how you're going to cut so it's always wise to cut when you're cutting from the full sheet cut from cut the smallest size first so let's go ahead and get started on our okay for the first stamp it this first step it says stamp image seven and eight with cocoa on ink 3d well eight is the branch and then seven is the happy holiday so I'm not going to stamp seven because just yet but I am going to do the branch because I rather I want to wait so I can place it you know according pretty you know nicely underneath the ornaments so I'm gonna take it we're gonna go fairly close to the edge but you know maybe like a fourth of an inch away from the edge like so and then now I'm going to stamp image nine which is the string with the bow and we're doing this in cocoa so I'm going to 
follow the card picture because that's just easier for me to do it that way. Sorry if my head's in the way I'm I don't want to get it not long enough or not up to the top. So if you're fairly new to stamping to get things lined up, just get some scratch paper and practice for a little bit. So you can get it, you know, like this one I this one I didn't get it quite all the way, but it's close enough. So next we are going to do the ornaments. And it says to do 10 with cranberry and image 10. is this one right here. So we're going to get our cranberry. Ink it up. And stamp. Sorry, I'm using baby wipes because when I was playing around with my stamps earlier and I used my cleaning pad, there was something icky on there, so I had to get it cleaned out. So it's drying. Now we're going to get our olive. And we're going to do stamp 11 and 12, which is the other two ornaments. Now, I'm going to do this one because it's just easier for me to eyeball that way. Now, this one I haven't used, so I'm going to get some scratch paper and I'm going to season it real quick. And there, we got that stamped. Now it says to sponge all of the edges with cocoa. <clears throat> so we're going to get our nifty little sponge, get some cocoa on it. 
Okay, now we're going to follow the, as the on the putting it all together page, we're going to follow the, the um, as, assembly for card three. And it says add here three B, C, D, you know, an A. And I'm going to use my ATG because I'm out of everything else. And we are just going to go ahead and center it. Move the camera down just a little bit. Next, we're going to add 3B, which is the cranberry. And then the cocoa strip. Which is actually kind of not so easy to add on something so small. I'm finding. And then our stamped one. Oops, nope, I guess I won't use this. It's a little bit too big. So it is. I guess I don't have my small little ones anymore. So I'll just use my ATG. And that's a little bit tricky. I guess I have to make a trip to the store because I don't have time to order. Oh, I have double-sided tape. I forgot about that. I ran out. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and line this up with the bottom. I forgot to put this on there. So we can go ahead and just 
tuck it in. Good enough for me. Now we're going to get our two gems. Place them on, voila, our card is done. So be sure to check out my blog because I'll have some really cool stuff up there here pretty soon, especially around Christmas time. Christmas is my favorite crafting time, so I will be putting a lot more stuff up there. So be sure to check out, like I said, be sure to check out my blog and subscribe to my channel for some even more awesome cool stuff and next week we'll we be working on one of the other cards that are in this kit so there you go and happy scrapping